Hey guys, Frostcore Airsoft here, making a review on the G36, well the X36 Matrix brand G36. I got it in the awesome box of super awesomeness. It's a $180 gun and the box cost at $120, so I got a good deal. Alright, when you open the box at first, there's going to be a ton of bubble wrap. Then, you pull the gun out. I mean, this thing is so crazy awesome. It's so accurate, except at first I needed to adjust the hop up. I moved it up like four or five notches. So, it's perfect now, right on target. The sights are good. And... Overall, it's a really nice gun. The only problem I have with it is it came with plastic mags, which could probably break easily if I fell on them or I dropped them too hard or something. But it's a really nice gun overall. So the easy, the cool thing is you can really exchange a lot of parts out of this gun. But the one thing I think is a con is it's really hard to put this screw right here, if you can see that, back into the little pin slot when you put the battery in here so here let me move this box out of the way and jam rod where's the jam alright okay as you can see this gun looks like it's made of polymer which it is mostly but the rails on it are all metal there's parts on it like right here. I don't know why they put that metal, but it's metal. And I, the foldable stock is really nice too. You just press this little button and you got a folded stock. So, also, so the safety selector switch is ambidextrous. So if you're a righty or a lefty, you can use the safety selector switch. You can use the safety selector switch. And there's a safety semi and full auto mode. And it's overall, it's, I mean, it's pretty heavy. It's eight pounds. I can lift it with one hand, but I'd rather not. A thing I would like to say is I would like to add on a red dot on the top, probably Neotech, and a grip on the top, so. But uh, also, it shoots really nice. It's really accurate. The sights help a lot. But you got to get used to shooting slower because it has a high RPM, so it shoots fast. So, it came with a ramrod, the classic manual for it, and an extra mag. These mags hold 480 BBs, so they're really like heavy duty. They're high caps, obviously. Sorry if the background you can hear people talking. It's my family. But um, one thing that I think is cool is they have a really cool hop up on it. The system is pretty cool. Like right there, you just twist it down and twist it up to hop it up. Other than unscrewing it and moving it to make a hop up for my uh, AK, I have to do that. So, and also the mag release is really easy. You just push right here. See, right there and it just comes right out. And then putting it in is super easy, you just gotta get used to it. See? Alright. Everyone says polymer is bad. I mean, it's heavy duty polymer. It's really hard, so I don't think it would break very easily. It's lighter than my AK. My AK is 11 pounds, and this is 10, or 8. So, Overall, I think it's a great gun, just there's one con, the battery chamber. Also, because if you have a vest, you can't have a uh, G36 vest. You need to buy an M4 adapter to change this out. You just pull this pin by pushing right here, and you pull this out, and then you can just switch it for an M4 adapter, and then you can buy an M4 vest, because this one has the G36 mags are double the size of M4s, so you have to buy double mag pouches. All right. And also, the cool thing is it came with a metal flash hider also. I can't show you that right now. Well, actually, you know what? I'll show you. It came with a metal flash hider. But the bad thing is the orange tip is glued on, so you can't unscrew it. So, 
It's a nice gun, heavy duty, and overall a great gun. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.